On the sporting change, the uh, main new aspect is that we have done a few tweaks into the race weekend format. We have tried, to, together with the other teams, together with the FIA, with Formula One, we have tried to ensure that the race weekend becomes a little bit shorter in such a way that we can all um, digest a bit better this long calendar with the 23 races. So, for example, on Friday, the practice sessions are moved further forward in the afternoon in such a way that the teams may, ga may get the opportunity to come a little bit later at the racetrack. Um, Another example is the curfew that the FI imposes for uh, every day of the race weekend. This curfew will force us to leave the racetrack a little bit earlier every day, again, in such a way that for the people working in the paddock, they can uh, enjoy a little bit of a uh, less stressful weekend so that we can go through more races uh, with a bit more ease. You know, 2021 was very important for us. Even though the um, growth results might not be one that, uh, as a team, as Ferrari, you can be happy with, it was a very important season. First, because we are coming from an extremely difficult 2020 season. So we had to turn around that result. The so regulations were half frozen. So we knew we had a challenge to prove ourselves at that time. Uh, so it was important to uh, go back um, in a higher positions in, in the picking order of the grid. Then, the fight for the third place, we treated it as a world championships. We knew it was very similar, uh, we were very similar in terms of car performance compared to our main uh, opponent last year, so it was going to be a points for points fight until the very uh, last race of the season. So as a team, we grew a lot through that phase. Um, I think we gained confidence through um, our capabilities to win that fight. And, and hopefully it makes us today a much uh, stronger team. Uh, we have made straight forwards and we now um, are looking forward, fighting for uh, bigger things. I think Charles and Carlos are actually closer uh, together than what you can see uh, from the outside. It's, um, it's not only that they uh, get on well together. They, they respect each other, they enjoy working together, they are very conscious of the role they play into driving the car development together and therefore at the moment there is not much more we can uh, hope for in terms of integration and the quality of the work they are delivering. Uh, Mattia often says it's the best pair uh, of drivers of the paddock and that's how we feel. Uh, in within Ferrari when we see them working. It doesn't mean that we don't want to go further. We still think that there is some potential to unlock in, in both of them in terms of uh, everything that their raw talent has to offer. And we are working with them to, to unlock uh, these, uh, these talent and to uh, make further steps together. So the pandemic had a huge impact on the sport, as, as, uh, as you would imagine, uh, given the, the scale of uh, what we have all witnessed. Uh, I think we are all very proud of the fact that we were the first international sport to go back to action. Um, for Ferrari, it came with uh, one key priority, our people. So the first thing we looked at is, are we able to guarantee uh, safe operations for our people before to send them back to the racetrack. Uh, we have worked a lot with the other teams, with the FI, with F1, to build a set of precautions that became our safety protocols that today we are operating under. It has worked well for these two years. Um, we have proved that we can race around the world even in these extremely difficult conditions. But we are equally aware that um, there is no room for any of us to decrease our level of attention, to decrease the level of precautions we are taking. And it's with this spirit that we are looking into uh, this season starting. Uh, of course, hoping that the uh, world situations will improve rapidly, but in the meantime, being very, very conscious that uh, we need to keep maximum precautions for our people to be able to keep racing.
So at first, Ferrari has always put its people um, in the center of, of its attention. So it's with this DNA that uh, we are looking at the new season with the 23 races. What can we do for our people? Then it is, of course, going to be a competitive advantage. Uh, the way uh, we can keep our people fresh, the way we can keep the energy for our people is going to be a competitive advantage. If you put these two things together, uh, what we have done is that we have built a program for them, not only this season, it's a program that started uh, years back, in which we try to ensure that we keep them uh, in the best possible conditions uh, before the season, during the season, after the season, so that we can make uh, that this activity sustainable for them and for the sport. You know, the new tyres, the 18-inch tyre, is, uh, is one of the two big pillars of these of this new regulations. Now you have the Aero and you have the, these 18-inch tyres. It's, uh, it's a change we have been working on for the last two years very closely with Pirelli. Is it going to impact uh, the way we run the car? Yes, probably. Do, you, do we know exactly in which term and how? Not fully. We will have to learn it. It's going to be as well a competitive advantage and it's going to be probably one of the most... Uh, important talking point of the seasons. So yes, the impact will be significant. Uh, and yes, we expect that uh, a lot of our energy will go into the understanding and um, on how to go about these tires during the seasons. So new tires will also be a new challenge when it comes to pit stop. Bigger tires, bigger wheel, four kilograms more per tire, the wheel cover uh, on the outside of them. It is a new challenge for the mechanics. Uh, we had to train very specifically throughout the winter in order to try to offset for these aspects that are uh, giving us uh, more constraints. But you know how it is in Formula One, we don't like to give away or give back any performance. So we are targeting to be uh, at the same level than we were last year with the 13 inch tires. There are a number of uh, good news coming with the new tyres. One of them is uh, the sustainability aspect of them. We will be running uh, tyre blankets on our cars, we did in the last uh, few years, but we will be running them at the lower temperatures, um, trying to take a glide path towards the removal of these tyre blankets uh, in 2024. Our approach to these winter tests is going to be very different compared to the other years. The fact that the cars are so new will, will force us to go into a very long and disciplined process of characterizations of the car uh, dynamics. So we will be mapping our cars, we will be comparing how they perform at the racetrack from an aerodynamic perspective, from a tire perspective, compared to everything we have been simulating, modeling for the last uh, 12 months. So, because of that, it's going to be very difficult to have an idea of the relative performance of the teams, certainly for the first test in Barcelona. It will probably be also difficult to get that picture for the second test in Bahrain, but because the first race will only be a few days later, still in Bahrain, uh, I think as we get closer to the end of the second test, team will be forced to start to invest some of the precious testing times in, uh, in trying to assess the absolute performance of the car and, and the qualifying and, and, and race uh, simulations. Um, but all together, I think we'll have to wait for um, the actual race weekends to start to have a pictures of um, how people are competitive with their new car. So at first, you know, Ferrari has a fairly large operation when it comes to its driver academy. It's a project that is strategic for us. We are investing uh, a lot of energy on it because we believe it is the right way to um, find the, our future talents and we believe it is also the right actions for, for the sport and the uh, impact that the sport has on the younger generations. So we welcome the opportunity. Robert Schwarzman is the one that is 
going to run uh, the two FP1s for Ferrari. Uh, but I think uh, even more than uh, the two FP1 that Robert is going to do, it puts the right light on the young drivers, on the importance to uh, preserve some space for them to make sure that in the futures, um, the best talent uh, have the right opportunities to reach the top. We are enjoying having Charles Leclerc coming from our academy, driving in our race car, and, and I think we need to make sure that there is enough testing opportunities in the future and enough opportunities in general for uh, young drivers, talented young drivers, to emerge. Actually, having two reserve drivers was the natural choice for us looking at, at this season. On one side, we have uh, Antonio, uh, obviously, is coming from three very strong seasons uh, with, uh, with Alfa Romeo. It's a shame he's not on the grid this year, but we could not, not take the opportunity to uh, have him uh, with us, with his experience, with his skills. So we have built a program that is compatible with his other racing activities. On the other side, we have Mick coming from our academy doing a fantastic job in his uh, first year with, uh, with uh, Haas last year. And uh, we felt that it was the, uh, the right balance. Um, and, and we have built a program for them in such a way that uh, by combining the uh, simulator, the work with the engineers, the opportunity to run uh, on, on, on the older car around Fiorano, that we could have the best combination in terms of having a driver ready to jump into the red car uh, should we need to do so. The team has been working very hard. In the winter, he has been working well. Uh, we are all very impatient to see the result of that work and to see how the result of that work uh, match what our competitors did. So we are looking at these seasons with a strong desire to uh, compete, with a strong desire to fight for uh, bigger objectives than the one we have been fighting uh, last year. And I think uh, the result of that will be probably the fair reflection of where the team uh, skills and experience are at, at the moment.